Hi everyone, so today I would like to talk a little bit about how to make money under this harsh, insane cap that fell upon us. So anybody who was making money of sparks and accolades and now is practically scrambling, this is mainly for you. So as it stands, we have a cap of 100,000 accolades and 100,000 sparks on exchange every week, right? So if we take this into account, let's say four weeks per month, we're talking about uh, 2 million gil per week. So we at 8 million gil per month. That's uh, that's quite <laughs> not much compared to you could make 90 mil per week, right? Well, what to do now, right? So that's a limit per character. What usually people do is that they level their other characters, which we call mules, right? It would take some time but it's possible for you to level and gear up your character. And then once you cap on your main character, then you can start capping on your mule. I, for example, have four mules. So that's one way to do it, right? So if you have one mule, all of a sudden you can double your income from 8 mil to 16 mil per month. Another way, which is uh, lower, is more garden, right? So every day it gets refilled. So you get something on the sand, it's called Float Sam. Nibimonite. Then uh, you get some fishes in the sea. Then for each... Uh, what is this thing called? Each furrow, garden furrow, you get to pick the fruits. Of your seeds, right? So let me just show you. Harvest. Okay. Harvest. To get to harvest uh, all of them. You can also use uh, fertilizers and other uh, enhancing items for for each collection. So there's another one and there's uh, fishes in the pond. Then it's the um, mineral vein. And then you have the aboro growth, right? So all these things, they give you items every day so what i usually do because this is time consuming and you need a lot of inventory space i just uh dump this to the uh, npc right so i uh, deposit my crystals to the crystal mugo and i usually sell items uh, to the npc Sometimes you get something that it's expensive uh, from the garden. So let me just show you. So this Gna uh, Gnat Bane, right, that I just got, I can sell each one for 20k. So I hold on to this one, but everything else you just sell. 
So you go down the list. So dead ball does nothing, right? Mura garlic. Vanilla. Yeah. You go down. Sometimes you get uh, an item that you're going to get like a uh, king truffle. You get 1,500. The big shots are here on the mineral vein, right? You can get the uh, ore that sells for 80k, 100k a stock. So let's see what we get here, for example, right? I pour some item on it. Multiple excavation. Platinum ore, gold ore, zinc ore, compound share. Yeah, so that was quite a catch here, right? Just to uh, show you a little bit, right? So uh, there's some very good items here. You get the gold ore or chicalcum ore, right? So what is that, right? Let's see Orchikakum, right? No, I misspell it, right? That's how we do it, right? Orichakum. So look, this one sells 5,000 jill as uh per one and 60k per stock right and it goes very fast right and i just went to the garden once uh, right look how many times i can do this right so i can go 12 more times let me sell the excess here quickly so, uh, so just to show you right uh, so this never mind that i got is 52 that's nothing right but voice stuff minus one is 2175 right Gold ore spikes is Ochikam 850 bone chip. So garden is a very good source of gel. If I will empty every single thing over here, including fishes, you can make uh, around a hundred K per day. Uh, that includes selling to AH, but if you want to sell it to NPC, it's going to be a little less. So, garden, garden is also a good source of income. So let's just say, um, so let's just say, garden will net you. Let's say we pessimists, right? So let's say garden will get us. 25,000 uh, per day, right? So if we go by, let's say, 30 days, right? That's 750,000 per month, right? So on top of the 8 uh, mil, you can get about uh, another mil from the garden. That's being a pessimist. If you're being an optimist, uh, it could be double or triple that. So that's one way, another way. Another way you can do is you can go and trade your login points. So every day that you log in during uh, the point accumulation, you're going to get some login points. let's let's see what you can do with them so 
So let's travel to the current region, Bost Old Bostock. Uh, let's go to, uh, go to the monk house. So this you can do monthly. So here we are. So you go to your greeter Mugo. And check exchange points. So if you go at the 1500, you have the pub items, which you can uh, sell in your bazaar, but then you have, uh, then you have other items that you can buy, right? So void role plate, right? So let's see what that is, right? Void row plate, right? So this one sells for 30k, which is really not much. Pills tool, eh? Okay, so here, you see, this is much better, right? So Pils Tula, it sells for close to 400,000, right? So if you have uh, 3,000 points, right? That's another, another mill, right? So another thing you can do is that there is a go gobi that gives you items every day. So every day um, you can check with your gobi to get an item and um, you need 50 points to retrieve something and you get about 10 points per day but you know there's ways that you can uh, increase the amount of points so what I usually do is I go and I buy um, one of the elixirs to boost up the the points so you see i buy super re razor this one sells for three thousand let's see if we can uh, get it for two thousand two hundred yep so we got it on a discount right so this is also a really good source of gill because you can get a shard for a core or a thief that you can sell for five or six mil and you can run this across all your mules the same thing uh, for those login points you can utilize them across all your mules to increase uh, your income so you see i talk to him he's gonna tell me that i only have 35 right and i want to open the box and profit where you want to go is you want to go to the special the aisle 50 tally right and i can't because i have 35. so you give him the super eraser ginor magnetic amount it went up so now when i talk to him again i have 85. so you can Open it up and see what he gives you. Many times it's garbage, but sometimes you get something really good. So what do we got here? We got Edu Ameon Shield. So what is this?
Never seen this before. The best way to do is just go or check on the AH FFXI the price, right? And don't throw things away without checking because you'll be surprised. Sometimes it could be an item that's worth uh, a couple mil. So let's see, what is this? Okay, I don't have enough space here. So let's uh, kill off something. Let's kill off the meat. Alright, so let's try to sell this. Okay, so this item uh, happens to sell for 10k. Okay, better than nothing. But I can sell the Gnadvane. Which goes uh, pretty fast, so you can uh, you can make thirty uh, k from that, right? So thirty, I got two of those, so that's sixty k just from those two items from the garden. So you can see garden is also very good. So gobi is another good way. Then monthly. You get ambuscade, right? So, I will to Hura. For those who never done it, ambuscade, it's a system where you basically fight against uh, a monthly enemy. You accumulate points for participation. And you get, uh, you accumulate points uh, also when you participate with other people and then uh, you can exchange those points on monthly basis by talking to this NPC, right? So you can go to rewards, right? Items to purchase with hallmarks. So that's the total amount of points uh, you accumulated. You can spend it and they get subtracted or you can get items for your total uh, hallmarks which means that let's say if you have you get 25,000 let me just show you so if you get I have 400 now right so I can get anything up to 400 it's it's uh, it's for free for me so the more you have, the more you can gather and you get armor here and upgrade uh, materials. But what you're really interested here is what you get uh, for rewards for uh, hallmarks and gallantry, right? So I just want to show you. So one of the best things here is a plate of heavy metal, right? I did uh, two fights solo and I have 400, right? So with that, I can get uh, two plates of heavy metal. And if you go and check plate of heavy metal, you get 60,000 per plate and you get almost 7 mil for 99, right? So these heavy metal plates are used for uh, upgrades. So here's a list of, uh, of these type of things that you can gather. So heavy metal plate is really good. Then you have Alexandrite, which sells for 600,000 for 99. Then you have the really expensive Rift Draws, which you can get there. You can get Pluton. Also, that sells for half a mil. Beitetsu for a million point two. And then you have Rift and Boulder, 470,000 stack, right? So if you look at the Ambuscade rewards, right? Here they are, right? How much they cost and monthly limit. So they put a cap of how many of those you can get. So uh, for heavy metal plates, you can get 100 with hallmarks. So that's, uh, we said 7 mil, right? 
and then for gallantry they only give you half of that so so you have uh, about 11 million those on heavy metals that you can get from here and you can do the same thing with a mule right so this is just on heavy metals all the other items including heavy metals you can also farm right so there's two ways to farm them one you can go to unity concord and just fight the mobs so um there's a bunch of mobs pick a level that you can handle and uh, using the accolades that accumulate you can translate the accolades to those items that i showed you i never seen them drop heavy metal or uh, rift rolls and electra right but i see them drop rift drone builder b2 pluton and refractive crystals and they don't drop like one or two you can get 15 20 at a time so so these fights are a good source of those uh, argumentation items and since there is no cap on them you as the more you can uh, max out your accolades fight them get your items and then just uh, sell them accumulate the items uh, accumulate accolades get uh, into the fight sell the items and you can repeat so you can get uh, several million uh, through this method right and so right now i um I basically am up to the 128 uh, level, so that's what I'm fighting. Do you want a really good, uh, easy fights? If your character is has can do decent damage, and you have an okay armor, you can do uh, tricks, and you can do um, Veto Phone Fear. This guy might look tough to you, but he gets process almost on every weapon skill. So he can go down within uh, two minutes. So these are very quick fights that you can gain really good uh, uh, items. Another really good way to, to make money is Void Watch. But with Void Watch, it's a little bit tricky because the let's just show you how the Void Watch work if you haven't tried it. So Void Watch, it's using um, a reward system. Uh, so is this like red, blue, green? So when when your mob gets uh, processed, it's um, it's gonna contribute to those different tiers. And the higher the tier, the uh, so let's say blue right bluer is reward quality quantity right red is reward quality so when those tiers are are increasing you get more items from the mob void watch uh, has campaigns throughout the the year so that's the best time to get them however you can increase um, the quality and quantity of items uh, received by speaking to one of the npcs i'm gonna show you so let's go to boston markets
And there is a, a Void Watch uh, NM that uh, very commonly gives you uh, plates of heavy metal. So the mob in question is Kagen. So each zone has three spawn spots and at most 18 people can participate per spot. And you don't hurt each other's uh, chances of getting an item because everybody individually gets something. But the more people, the more chances the map can be processed, that you get more rewards. So it's usually when someone is occupying a spot, you can go to them and, and you can ask them to join. I never had a situation when somebody says you cannot join. So we're going to look at Kagen, right? In Quiffen Island. Let's go back to the game. So you can talk to uh, Voidwatch Purifier. And you use your conquest points. So you can go Cobalt Cell, Rubicon Cell, Xanthus Cell, and Jade Cell. So Cobalt Cell. If you want to see. So Cobalt Cell. Increases. The reward quantity. Rubicon Cell increases increases the quality right so we, we're gonna get um, ruby cancel and cobalt cell right so we're gonna get one cobalt cell which is 2000 conquest points And then you can get a Ruby cancel. So we got two cells here, right? Let's uh, go to Quiffen. So the thing with Voyage during the campaign, you come uh, with your inventory space clear out because these mobs, they drop a lot of materials. Literally, you, you fight them for like uh, one or two hours. You can get easily 60, 70 items. And uh, it, your inventory can fill up very fast. So uh, it's better to come prepare. And those items, some of them sell really for a lot of money to NPC. So if you you don't have patience or you don't have inventory to keep everything for a, a auction house, then you can just uh, sell it to the, uh, to the NPC. I'm going to show you I'm going to show you that fight with this guy that's supposed to drop a lot of heavy metals. I'm not coming during campaign so it's going to be empty as expected. So you call your trusts, right? You want some sort of a tank. You call uh, little set second. You are him. Orumoru and upper. So what do you do before you engage? We're going to uh, trade the the cells into the 
Oh, two, two, two. so we have our cobalt cell. We're gonna trade. Okay, and then we're gonna trade the other cell. Okay. Rubicon cell, right? If you want to get them processed, try to execute your weapon skills uh, during uh, their TP move. Also, s different mobs are sensitive to different things. If your character is high, you know, these fights go really fast. I'm gonna do Bully, Tata of Amchuchu, <laughs> my favorite move. If you guys have been watching my videos. The darkness. That's why I normally don't. I don't bring little Seth. I bring Kupipi because she doesn't screw up with my skill chains. So it tells you here in the log that it's vulnerable to wind element, ninjutsu. And another thing, um, uh, they give you crystal perifacts, which later you can trade to a gobby in Resujima, and you can start uh, obtaining pulse weapons. So there's another incentive to fight those void rat bachelors. So there's the chest here. Let's see what we got. So square of rainbow cloth, four fragment ram horn. So let's just see what we got, right? Rainbow cloth. Square of rainbow cloth. It's 15k. Coral Fragment. Coral Fragment is, is 9k. And then Ram Horn is <laughs> Ram Horn. So you see, one fight. We didn't get a really good uh, things in here. But it's uh, 25k, right? So, Void Watch is another great way to make money here. So everything adds up, right? So if you have mules, you level them, you do your login check, you do your gabi, you do ambuscade, you fight unity mobs, you fight the void watch mobs. You can pack in uh, close to uh, 40, 50 mil per month. It, you know, it depends on your investment in time. And these are just the basics because, you know, I don't do a lot of the um, dynamics, the divergence, uh, vagary and all these other things other people do because, you know, I'm, I just came back to the game in July and there's so much you can do. But, you know, these things on the surface, uh, 
you can all do. And one thing I want to warn you about. Look at this. Pixie hairpin, right? It's obtainable on Walk of Echoes, which is another way for you to, to make money. You go to Walk of Echoes and just uh, farm there. You can get a lot of uh, argument items and sell them in Bazaar. So that's another way to do it. But uh, just to show you something, right? So pixie hairpin, right? If everybody would farm this uh, pixie hairpin, the price would crash, right? And which you can see, uh, it dropped from 15 to, to 10, right? So that's the danger of uh, farming on uh, equipment item, right? Gear. Because if a lot of people do it and they sell it at the same time, the price will go down. So the, that's the danger of, of farming that. But the argument uh, things like uh, heavy metal plates, they're always in demand. So everybody's argumenting all the time. So don't worry about it. The price might fluctuate a bit if a lot of people dump it at the same time. But uh, believe me, people are always shouting for these things. So uh, do not worry. So just to recap. We have the, the mule system, get your mule uh, leveled up and leveling uh, guys is very simple. I mean, uh, you can even pay somebody. Uh, I think the rate is about uh, two mil. It will get you from one uh, to 99 uh, really quickly, but you need to have access to Escha Zeta for that. So there's some work on your part to, to get there, but you can level very quickly. And um, so you have the, the mule system that you can utilize. Then you have the, the mock garden. You have the login points. You have the ambuscade. You have Gobi's chest. Then you have the Unity Concord fights and Void Watch fights. That's uh, a lot of ways to, to make money in, in here. So it's obviously it's not going to be the 90 mil per week where we had the cap how you how you can do it but yeah it's it's better than uh, than the eight mil that uh, we are left with um so i uh, hopefully this helps somebody let me know if you have any question about anything i mentioned uh, void watch might be confusing but there is a lot of videos on it and also if you have questions you can ask me um, the Unity Concord maps, I fought so many of them. I gave you the two that you should fight. So uh, you can go ahead there. And obviously Void Watch and, and anything else and Ambuscade. So let me know. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. All the best. Bye bye.